Hello, I'm Mauro Piacentini. I'm in Capri for the CDD and CDD's meeting 2017. I am the, one of the editor in chief of CDD's and uh, one of the founder and senior editor of CDD. Uh, we are here and uh, we are talking about our research. My current uh, research interests are related to the regulation of uh, um, autophagy in mammals. In particular, we discover one of the key genes of the regulation of uh, autophagy, AMRA1, and that turned out to be one of the essential genes for the regulation of autophagy in mammalian cells. In this meeting, I present some uh, new data about the role of uh, an enzyme that I'm studying since many years, so that is called tissue transglutaminase. Uh, we found that tissue transglutaminase uh, regulates the proteostasis in cells, in mammalian cells. And this event uh, is particularly important uh, in a disease, in a genetic disease uh, that is uh, the cystic fibrosis, because uh, the inhibition of transglutaminase uh, in uh, in the patients with cystic fibrosis leads to an improvement of uh, the symptoms in, this, in these people. And uh, I think we got some interesting data explaining the mechanism by which the inhibition of transglutaminase can lead to an improvement of, of the disease. And uh, we hope that these results uh, will be translated into clinical practice as soon as possible since there is an inhibitor of transglutaminase that is already used in clinical trials for this disease. So this is uh, what I presented here in Capri, but uh, all my lab is working, as I said at the beginning, in the regulation of autophagy in mammals, and particularly we are interested in the interplay between uh, autophagy and the proteasome system. So how the two degradative systems in the eukaryote itself can talk to each other and how they can regulate the two phenomena, so the prote proteasome system versus the autophagy system. And in this context, one of the key players is the AMRA1 protein that I mentioned before, because uh, it is uh, able to interact with many e 3 ligases that can control on one side the proteasome system, on the other side the autophagy system. And uh, we hope to also define pathways in which this uh, protein is now involved. And uh, we have some interesting evidence that can be involved in degenerative diseases like uh, muscular disease and in particular dystrophies that seems to be important in terms of having a, a, a degradative system of autophagy impaired.